welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome to my channel today i'm actually going to be doing a q a i asked over on instagram like probably almost a week ago for you guys to ask me some questions um whether that be about postpartum depression or it just be general questions trying to get to know me or just being nosy and you wanted to know something so i actually got a lot more questions than i thought i would i'm pretty proud of myself um when i first posted it i was like Literally, I'm not that cool and nobody's going to ask me questions, but I think I got like 15 or maybe more. So, I'm going to try to answer all of them without making this video too long. So, let's just jump right into it. So, I have them all written down right here on a piece of paper. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just start right now. How did you know you had a postpartum depression? Um, I think I kind of knew all along. I feel like I really realized it kind of late because Banks is already almost 10 months old and postpartum depression is some, usually not always now something that you kind of have like in the very beginning um and which I did totally have it then I think I just kind of put it on the back burner and I wasn't really thinking about my feelings and kind of like almost in denial and the way that I really realized how I had it was I was just talking to one of my really good friends that dealt with it with all of her pregnancies and um, just like all the things that she was saying about it. I was just like, whoa, like, okay, I feel that way. I feel that way. I have that. I have that. And it just kind of like all added up. And then one day I kind of just talked, like brought it up to Brett randomly and was like, I think I might have postpartum depression and really bad anxiety. And he was just kind of like, yeah yeah i could see that um and so uh so yeah so really what made me realize and then of course i'm also just type of person like i google like everything so i really when i finished having that conversation with my friend i googled um like postpartum depression and all the symptoms and signs and whatnot and i just spent hours on google and then that's another way that i really really found out that i have it um so yeah and Sorry about the milk carton. Ew, I didn't know that was back there. That is recycling. <laughs> Just like, pretend like it's not there. <laughs> okay, question number two. How are you dealing with it so far? Um, so far, I, um, I'm just kind of working really hard on self-care. Um, just kind of making sure I make the time to put myself first. And now, I feel like now that I know what's wrong, I'm um, it's a little bit easier for me to kind of take a step back and realize what's going on in the situation, if that makes any sense. Um, and my husband is being very helpful, just making sure I get a plenty of me time and I'm not just all about the kids, which regardless, I am still all about them. But I'm just trying to take a little bit of time away each day to relax and we actually switched around our schedules a little bit and Brett is actually putting all the kids to sleep because I used to do that and so now he does it and so that gives me like an extra 30 to 45 minutes than what I had before to kind of just relax. So yeah like I was saying just right now I'm just really trying to make sure that I'm taking care of myself and that I am just trying to have a really good mindset. I'm trying to wake up with a good mindset and so that will help the day go easier hopefully and I'm just just kind of working on myself um it's kind of hard to explain you just have to find what works best for you what makes you happy and go from there I do go to the doctor soon and I'm going to talk to him and see what he thinks about everything and we'll just kind of see how it goes from there um uh, number three um or the third question what is Addison's schedule like um I assume they mean like our custody schedule um, we have 50-50 with her mom, so we do a week on and a week off, um, so yeah. And then, um, uh, somebody asked about, like, co-parenting, like, do we get along with Addie's mom? Hi, baby! Brooks just woke up. Um, and yes, we, we do get along with her. I feel like we have a normal co-parenting situation. Um, we get along with her. We don't really argue or fight, and if we do, we kind of just get over it pretty quickly because we have to. Um... I wouldn't say that we're like best friends, like we'll hang out with each other, but if we are in a situation where we all need to be together for something with Addison, we can be around each other, we can talk, and we can hang out, and it's not a big deal, um, but we do pretty much just keep it all about Addy and nothing extra. Um, somebody asked how Brett and I met. 
we actually met a really long time ago when I was like 16 or 17 um, and we met at a party one of my old old friends from high school like we're not even friends anymore she kind of had a thing with him and that is how we met and then um, fast forward you know to a couple years so like four years ago we just started talking on Facebook again and we just kind of clicked and we've been together ever since um, and to tie in with that question, somebody asked if we were going to have any more kids. Um, I kind of want one more. I think I want to try for a girl. Um, obviously, if we have a boy, then I'll be happy. But I do think, feel in my heart that I still want one more. Um, but Brett thinks that he is done. So I'm not exactly sure how that's going to go. Um, if we do have another one, it will be a long way down the road. It'll be when Banks is probably like five or six. Um... Uh, somebody wanted to know like what I did for a living before I was a stay-at-home mom and I actually used to work at a trucking company um, it's called JB Hunt it's um, like a local trucker trucking company trucking company um, but it, I think it's like all over the world or all over America it's pretty popular I worked for them for a long time um, and then I also used to work in child care I used to work at a daycare I worked at the Head Start and um, the public schools for like the pre-k um, somebody asked me, did you used to party a lot before kids? And to be completely honest with you, yes, actually I did. Um, you probably can't really see that on my Instagram. I don't think I posted too many like crazy party pictures. Um, if I did post any pictures, it was like before we went out and I was like, I looked all cute or whatever. Um, but yeah, I actually did used to party quite a bit. Um, from like 17, 18 ish until I was like 22. Yeah, I'd say 22, 21, 22. Um, yeah, around I feel like it's really popular around here. Parties are were, are really big around here. Um, I don't know if they still are. I would imagine they probably still are. Cause obviously, I don't do that anymore. But yeah, I was a pretty, I was a pretty big partier. Um, then Erica asked me, <laughs> "Who's your favorite little baby to watch?" And you already know the answer is Miss Colby Kate. Um, that Erica is one of my best friends and I babysit her daughter for her during the week and um, yeah that's my baby she's my baby girl um, and then Morgan asked me why are your teeth so white um, I don't know I just brush them they're really not that white I don't know if you can tell I don't know I want them to be like so so much whiter um, what okay hang on I need to go potty. Um, I just, I just brush them. There's no, I use whitening toothpaste and I use mouth, uh, whitening mouthwash. But that's really all that I do. And okay, so a couple more questions. Like people were asking more about like family things. Um, somebody asked what Brett does for a living. Brett is a plumber. He's still in school. This is his last year. He's a fourth year apprentice, and then he will take his test the beginning of the year, probably like in February, and he'll become a journeyman. Um. Then somebody asked me, like, the kids' names and ages. Um, Addison is six, Brooks is two, almost two and a half, and then Banks is almost ten months. Um, and then somebody asked me, I'm trying to remember because I didn't write them all down. Um, somebody asked me something like along the lines of if, I plan, if we plan to have Brooks and Banks so close together. And the answer is no, we did not. Um... I didn't want to have actually when I after Brooks I didn't want any more kids at all I just like wanted Brooks which of course we had Addison but like for me personally I just wanted Brooks and then I accidentally we well I say accidentally but you don't accidentally get pregnant really um, we got ended up getting pregnant and it was obviously a huge huge blessing um, we love Banks so much and he is everything and everything that we needed and wanted in our lives and so I'm really I do not regret that we had him and I do not regret having them close together. I actually really like it. Um, Brooks knows, Nanky knows that he's his baby and he never has really been jealous of him and um, they're actually really starting to like play together a lot and so I really like, I really enjoy watching them do that. Yes. Car seat. Yeah, that's Baby Banks' car seat. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that is all the questions that I had. If you asked me a question and I missed it, I apologize. Leave it in the comments and I'll answer it. Yes, baby. It's the baby's car seat. Um, anyways, I'm going to end this video now that Brooks is up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.